Donald Trump pulled a fast one on the American people by refusing to release his tax returns. He promised he would do it after the election, but that was just another one of his many, many lies. Well, the state of New Jersey is set to make sure another shister doesn't pull the same scam again by passing a bill that would make releasing tax returns mandatory for presidential and vice presidential candidates. The bill known as S-119 states that candidates for president and vice president must publicly release five of their most recent tax returns at least 50 days before the general election in 2020, or they won't be allowed on the ballot. The bill would also bar any of the state's electors from voting for candidates for president and vice president as part of the electoral college system if they choose not to comply with the legislation. The bill passed the state Senate in a 23-11 vote today and will go to the Assembly Committee and full legislature next. If it's passed there it will then head to Governor Phil Murphy's desk for his signature if he decides to sign it. This is a very important piece of legislation and seems to be aimed at Donald Trump. One of the bill's sponsors, Senator Loretta Weinberg, D, told the Courier Post. It is so obvious with this president that had voters known some of what seemed to be his business interests, he may not have been elected president. The New Jersey legislature passed the same bill in 2017, but Trump backer Chris Christie vetoed it. Now that Christie has been run out of the governor's office, the people will finally get the bill they want. Trump is sure to hit the roof over it too. It would mean that he'd finally have to make good on his promise to release his tax returns if he wants to stay on New Jersey's ballot.